Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Chris Baird here again. Just want to say hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, I am out here tonight in the beautiful Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. As you can see behind me, the snow is falling. Uh, we are in for a little, uh, I don't know if it's a haunted, maybe a Randonautica haunted, some kind of adventure tonight. Um, I'm here with CJ Payson, tagged along for a road trip on my way back home from New York. I'm gonna hit Florida once we're done here. Should be with him for about a week, maybe a week and a half. Just depends on what we're doing and where we go. But yeah, I just wanna do a little video for you guys. Maybe give you a little vlog, just let you know what's going on. It's snowing, it's snowing a lot. It's gonna snow for the next two days, I believe. I'm talking about rain, sleet, slush, ice. It might even uh, freeze up and be pretty bad tonight. So we might end up staying a couple more days here, who knows? But we got a road trip planned across Pennsylvania as well as Ohio. We're gonna hit a couple spots. So uh, Dylan is actually with his girlfriend for a week. I don't know what they have going on, but uh, he's not gonna be here. So just me and CJ on this trip, uh, we're having some fun. We're in the hotel right now, just getting all warm up and uh, bundled up. I got like four layers on, I got leggings on, which I mean, surprisingly are really comfortable and I've never worn leggings before, but um, they're thermal and insulated and they're super nice. So yeah, we're excited. It's gonna be a fun trip. It's good to get out and adventure a little bit because when I was home in New York, I didn't really do very much. I just spent time with my family, which was awesome. It was good to see everybody. I'm excited to get back in the woods a little bit, check out some trail. We have a couple spots we're gonna check out. There's this trail, I guess you go down. There's like reports of seeing like a soldier walking around. I guess it's known like throughout the town. This is like a thing here, but um, so it sounds spooky and scary. So I'm excited to check it out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna fill you guys in a little bit, keep you on this adventure with us, and uh, yeah, keep you guys updated. Like, how are you gonna feel back three layers if you get in the woods? I'm gonna get naked. Oh boy. Lean against the truck again. That was awful. Those were some of the weirdest sounds I've ever heard. No, it was bad, man. It was bad. It was really, really, really bad. He just got snow pants. He's got his boots. I got boots. GoPros, man. cameras galore. We got it all. Yeah. Hey, check it. Show him the pellet. Oh. Show him the pellet. Oh, you guys is, hey, hang on, hang on. <laughs> this is top secret, all right, y'all? So when I tell you that... Well, here's the thing, okay? I don't know why people do this, but if you're going to have all this money in camera equipment and gear, take care of it. Literally take care of it. That's why that case right there, six hundred dollars, but it's a good insurance plan because it can go in water, it can go in snow. Uh, you can throw it off the top of a building. Nothing gets damaged. Again, invest in your equipment, and then invest in keeping your equipment safe. So that way, it lasts you a very long time. Oh, I'm gonna latch one last just so you can hear the sound. Oh, there's two already latched. All right, you ready? Ooh. Ready? I'm gonna hold the light. Oh, do it. Oh, mm. oh. Oh. Hey, push him down. Push him down. Oh yeah, that's. Oh, oh. that's locked. That's really locked. <laughs> that's the AGSR stuff that people like. I know, like. Uh, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Now a lot of our equipment is not in there right now, but this is one of two cases for equipment. <laughs> uh, we just brought this one for this road trip. Right, what's What's in the case? Let us know. All right. So what's in the case? We're gonna just go here. First thing is uh, these are Sony's. No, I'm just kidding, they're cannons. Um, these are cannons. I actually uh, wrap these on the outside. So then that way, uh, they're two different colors. We have two identical cannons. These both have the same exact settings for audio, same exact settings for video. Um, so that way, uh, whether I'm running two cameramen or just one, uh, we need night vision and two or whatever, everything is the exact same. Uh, then we have what one of my favorite cameras. This is a A7 III. Uh, this is just uh, got the standard lens on it, and then we have right here. This is one of my favorites. This is the 7C, A7C by Canon. This is a good vlog camera for anybody who's who likes to vlog a lot or you're just kind of getting started. This is a really nice camera. It's kind of expensive for a starter camera, but it's really good for that. Then right here we've got uh, our lights. So these uh, are actually some of the um, infrared lights. We have 12 of these. Uh, we have eight Manfrotto's, and then all the Leitra lights are, we've had, I think I got six Leitra lights. In my hand. Yeah, all right, so we've got them everywhere. Then we have these small GoPro lights. These are good for just little, we don't ever really use these. Are, those are backups. Where then we have these? the drone right here. This is the DJI Mavic Air 2. I'm right going to put that footage on the screen. We got some footage back in Delaware that was some of the nicest footage it was amazing. ever.
And so then, good. in addition to what we do, uh, this is the DJI, DJI Ronin 2, RS2. And all of this basically stays in the case. And then obviously we're running um, this camera here. This is just a A7 III. Uh, with a you know shotgun mic up top, the road mic, and uh, this is actually the thing that goes to the Ronin too. Mm -hmm. That so, lens yeah. is what does the magic. That lens is crazy. So this is about half of camera equipment we use. I also have another uh, Canon G5X. This is a good little vlog camera. I always say this. This is why I started out YouTube with, and and truthfully, I still film videos. If I'm alone, I'm I'm taking this with me. Um, it's just very easy to put it right in my pocket while I'm getting on a plane or whatever. Um, just vlogging around or even just going out in the woods for the night. And then obviously we have uh, four GoPros, tons of batteries, different lenses for the GoPros. You can change those out on the nines. So yeah, we got a lot. We're, but this is half of our equipment. So we just brought what we thought we were going to need for this one particular trip. But don't overdo it. You don't have to overdo this. You really don't. I mean, we kind of complicate it by carrying so much. Yeah. But you got to think about this too. Chris and I are gone for a week, 10 days, two weeks, whatever it is. We're going to go through a ton of memory cards. So we have a memory card full. There's like 13 memory cards in here. Uh, we got to have extra batteries. Got to have extra cameras. I've been on road trips where cameras have broken or we have fallen through a Florida house one time and I actually really messed up the G5X. Uh, I've had like four G5Xs now. Yeah, there's um, one lying around your garage as well. The other day. Yeah, it's broke, <laughs> broken but it's up. cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Memories, I don't you know. know. Have backups. Be prepared. And yeah. Again, this is, this is, you just gotta. Yeah. This, this might be overkill, but yeah. we're also not like your average YouTuber. So, I don't uh, know. Yeah, we're not just vlogging, so. No. But, but that's the thing. Tell them about the cameras. There's a camera for literally every setting. Oh, yeah. Camera. Vlog camera. Yeah, so we actually have, like, I'll show you really quick, like these cannons. Um, these things are sweet. Uh, they are actually for like ghost hunting because they have the infrared mode. So I gotta hold the light because it's hard to see it in here. But um, so yeah, the cannons are used for like paranormal stuff. They're they're like professional style cameras. Like people will, like travel channel. Like that's yep. what they're using something similar. Um, this camera is really good for vlogging, but also daytime footage because it has really good background blur. Um, the aperture is all the way down to two point eight, so it looks nice. There's a lot of crazy good equipment here. But hey, you know. But that's the thing. Like, I, I mean, Chris can testify to this for all of you watching. The one thing that I I only will do something if I can do the absolute best at it. But a lot of people, we were talking about this in the car. Yeah. A lot of people message us and they're like, "I only have an iPhone. Or I only have an Android for that to film. Use it. Yeah. Get started with that." And then when you start making a little bit of money or you squirrel some money away to the side, step up every once in a while. You don't have to have all of this. Yeah. Um, it's like anything. It's like walking up a set of steps. You can't just step up on one step and automatically go all the way to the top. So yeah. it's just stair stepping. It took a long time to acquire this stuff, but yeah. it's so worth it because the quality is just crazy. Yeah, it's hard. Like world. in filmmaking, you know, the camera equipment changes so much. It changes very fast. There's 4K, there's 8K now. Red's got 6K cameras. Um, but at the same time, a lot of it's about the, like the person behind the lens. It's not always the lens itself. You gotta just be creative and be able to edit and, um, someone you really watch. I watched CJ edit a, a vlog the other night and just, I learned a ton. Um, stuff I'd never even thought about. It's just little details when it comes to like cutting up clips and hey, just the things that you do. Tell them drop a comment. Drop a comment right now if you saw the car wash vlog. And if you haven't, go the, watch it. Yeah, the abandoned car wash vlog. Go check that out. I actually edited that as soon as we left there. I was like, you know what? I want to look at some of this footage. So then that way I could see, uh, you know, I could go back and make some little notes. That's why we record that footage too. And I that was nice. slammed that out in about two hours. Yeah. If we had the Ronin, it would have been like a little bit less shaky, Ooh. but um, it was a little bit windy and cold. So I was a little shaky with the footage, but the edit came out really, really good. It so did. I'm hoping I can edit this to make it look something like that with some, some of the details. You still did good though, Chris. Appreciate it. Yeah, I did my best, but hey, it's all about learning. Um, one of the biggest things I've learned working around CJ and stuff is just don't stop. Like if you want to be good at something, don't don't settle, don't stop. Get out there. If you have time on your hands, watch YouTube videos, watch tutorials, learn how to edit differently. Anything you can do to better yourself, even if it's five minutes a day, ten minutes a day, you get a little bit. His, his thing's a three percent rule. Get three percent better every day. In, in a year, you look back and you're like, whoa, look what I did. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go film now though, uh, and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. So, peace. That's a good one. That is coming at some point in time later on tonight. Yes, but I don't know. 
It's a wild goose chase we're here in Gettysburg for three days, so we're gonna use tonight to go and, and see. Well, I mean, it's weird though, she said the trail had take a left. Like, is there gonna be a sign that's like, welcome to Sea Rock, or like, how is this gonna work? I guess so, right? No, you're not. You're gonna get it. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. This is not going to be good. Oh! Oh, oh my f***ing D! <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't even walk over here. I'm trying to help you. I hit a drug spot! <laughs> I know you did! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh! I thought I could make it the whole oh, 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 yo, yo, yo. The whole way down. Give me all the nights. <laughs> you don't know, cab yet? Look, way better on paper. Oh, yeah. You bleed? Nah, yeah. you're good. Okay. You're good. Everything's good. I'm good. Are they battling these rocks now? Probably. Probably should have looked up the history, but... Oh! 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 <laughs> I'm gonna go read about it on the sign. Jeez, you need some new food. It's hell! Oh. I've been to live in Florida or the Bahamas or somewhere. Yeah, this is not your calling. No. At all. No, snow's not my favorite. No. Oh. <laughs> Fire one! <laughs> oh, that'd be terrifying. You're buying a cannon. Go to the second one. Our infantry's coming. <laughs> Load it up. I feel like there's got to be something cooler to pull than. There definitely was. All right, so this is what we got. Car said left of the Union. Hello, everybody. Apologize if there's boogers running on my nose, but it's cold as hell out here. Um, we are at Little Round Top, I believe it's called, out in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania right now. Had a crazy little adventure in the woods, as you guys can check out on TJ's channel whenever that drops. Um, yeah, we're just out here looking around. I kind of wanted to come check out Gettysburg because I've never been. I want to see some of these cool spots. Like, look at this view behind me. Crazy. Um, but yeah, we brought the spirit box. Um, I didn't want to do it in the cemetery. I don't want to be disrespectful, but um, this is just a battle site, so I don't really see that as being too bad. But see if the spirits want to talk to us today. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys around a little bit. Might be my uncle, I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is crazy. Wait, where are you? Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Alright, I'm gonna flash Oh, man, I'm in. Is big enough for both of us? What? Wow. Yeah. Top of the castle. No, uh, it looks cool. It looks us. sitting on this thing. ITC, Enter Transcommunication. Okay, so you got it. I usually put on AM or 
Uh, you go AM. Three clicks over. One, two, three. All right. I maybe come closer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right. Are there any spirits here with us? Nah, no, they're not on this weather. It's too cold. Too cold. I'm blame them. Hello? Is there anybody here with us? No, oh, he's not. He's putting on a muscle there, but... Should be pretty tuned from last night, though. That's why I don't know. It's just, we, we weren't very active last night, either. Hey, uh, my name is Chris. I'm here with my friend CJ. Can you say hi to us? How many spirits are here with us right now? Uh, two. What are your names? I don't know. Anybody want to talk to us? Well, it's really cold outside. We came here to talk to you, and you're not talking to us. Hi. Hi. That was pretty Hello. Clear. Hey, what's going on? Are there any soldiers here with us? If you guys pick up anything, like always, please leave a comment and let us know what you hear. I'm not going to sit out here all day and do this, but... Uh, anybody else want to say anything to us before we go? I always think I hear my name, but I don't... I think it's because I want to hear it. I don't <laughs> think I really am. How did you die? Chris, before you just ask that question, it's a doorway. That's what I heard at least. Okay. Doorway. Are you seeing it? It's supposed to help, but I'm not sure. Can you tell us your name? Sometimes, I mean, we saw last night, yeah. we were just one thing after another after another and nothing yeah. was coming through. Nothing, yeah, so I don't know. But that's how it goes. You're not going to get anything. You're not going to get something yeah. everywhere you go. Oh, for sure. You're not going to get something. All right, Nicole. Good job. Just a little head on to the vlog, I guess. But yeah, this is a little round top. It would have sucked if you slid all the way down this. That would have been great. Like right to the bottom. What a good footage, yeah. We went all messed up. I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, spirit box slash, I don't know, show you around Gettysburg thing. Uh, just one of the few things I'm going to show you guys during this little trip here. And yeah, we'll pop in with you guys here in a little bit later tonight. So we'll see ya.
cold. All the way up. It says 31, but I've been living uh, in New York my whole life and it is not 31. It's probably 10 maybe Negative. in the wind. Negative. Negative 31. <laughs> Negative 31. Yeah, something like that. This sucks. Just kind of want to fill you guys in a little bit too on what we did the past couple days. Um, you know, we got to Gettysburg. We went out and filmed the other night. Uh, we had a crazy night actually. Um, long story short, CJ got an email from uh, from a viewer, and the viewer kind of told him about the spot um, called Seat Rock Trail, and we couldn't really find anything about it online, so uh, we said, "Screw it, let's go check it out." <laughs> and um, we didn't know that the snowstorm was going to be so bad, but we kind of got trapped in a snowstorm as well. And uh, yeah, that's kind of how it all started, but. Um, I'm not sure when that video is going to drop. Please keep an eye out for that. It was a crazy, crazy, crazy night. Um, kind of ran through the woods trying to get back to the car. Couldn't find the car for a while. Um, that was that was a little bit nuts. But yeah, so uh, the day after that, we couldn't really do very much. So we kind of just stayed in. We just we were trying to find locations to film, like any haunted stuff. Because um, the, the one spot we had backed out and we couldn't film there. And then it was too windy to film outside. So um, actually, at the beginning of this vlog, you guys saw we were up here yesterday and... Man, the wind was nuts at the top of the hill over there. Um, actually up there at the top of the hill. So you guys saw that. It was a little bit too much for me to film in, a little bit too much for CJ. I mean, we brought warm gear. Um, yeah, we're currently at the uh, Devil's Den and we're gonna film here for a little bit. And we actually have another spot tonight we're gonna film. It's gonna be really cool. So it's been a pretty good week. Uh, it's been like four days, so pretty much a week. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I'm um, having fun traveling with CJ. Um, the big thing is, um, it's just the real estate aspect. He's really got like a big goal for his real estate um, company and the things that he's working on. So I'm gonna tag along a bunch this year and try to learn as much as I can. And uh, I'm super excited about that. I don't know if that's maybe hinting towards what's coming up for me, but um, you guys will see a little bit more in the next week or two. So um, yeah, stay tuned for more content, guys. This is definitely not stopping. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can for my channel when I'm not helping TJ or Dylan or whatever I'm doing. So, oh man, look at the sunset. It's just staying, it's lingering around. I love it. I'm gonna take a million pictures of my phone. I'm never gonna post any of them, which is what I always do. Fill up my, my uh, storage on my phone. But uh, yeah, let me you guys know what you think of the vlog. Again, it wasn't super exciting, but dug into a little bit of, you know, what was in CJ's camera bag and just a little bit of random stuff, you know, just chatting. Um, did a little spirit box up on top of the hill. Didn't get much. And if I do film any more before I drop this, I'll drop it in the video. Otherwise, probably the end of uh, this vlog. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.